Hello, welcome to this video. Today I will show you how to segment and quantify calcifications in a mouse scan here from a micro CT. And you can load this uh, example data set here using the tutorial button under CT. You can load here this example data set. And then with our software, the Emulutics Pre Clinical, you can perform a segmentation like this one and get the number of calcifications and their volumes as a quantification. So here this segmentation was loaded with tutorial, but I will just uh, delete it and generate it again. And so here this is the C CT scan in 3D in a, uh, as an ISO rendering. And there you can see the calcifications and um, I'll show you briefly another rendering, like our MIP rendering here. There you can see some more calcifications, also some that are a bit less uh, um, prominent here. But let's go back to this ISO rendering because this helps to find a good threshold. And we basically should go like as low as possible, just not uh, to the point where we get the, the soft tissue. So maybe something like this here. So maybe a threshold of maybe 400. And um, let's keep that threshold in mind. But first I'll show you a bit of the CT data here. So that there are a lot of calcifications in this mouse model for example, here in the kidneys, you can see it in 3D also, but also in the in the brown fat here at, in the neck, and all over the body in the in the heart also here, a lot of calcifications. And this uh, mouse model is a knockout mouse, and it's uh, it has a deficiency with some fetching proteins which regulate the the calcium in the blood, and that's why it's getting a lot of calcifications here. Okay, so um, let's do a thresholding operation. So we add a temp class, and then do a thresholding above maybe uh, 400 Hounsfield units. And now I can hide the underlay, the CT, and now I see a lot of calcifications here in 3D. And um, Let's add a bone class and try to fetch here the, um, the bones, the arms. And there you see already here we have some part here. These calcifications are connected to the scapula here. So they are caught. If you pick this one, this is not connected. And um, the spine also is the skeleton is also nice to grab. And um, so I'll just for a moment add another class arm here where I put this arm in. And now I'll hide the bone class and the temp class. And I'll just try to fetch here these calcifications by cutting. So I add a class calcification. So we need to use this tool here, for example, and go from the arm to the calcifications. I'll just change the, cl the color of um, calcification here to uh, something like this. So we can uh, just grab it here in 3D and uh, rotate a bit to get the other part here to carefully cut it without taking away stuff from the scapulae and you can also hide it and you see better what's left here maybe something like that so now we have these guys here, and now we can show the other classes again. 
and we can move the arm back to bone and we can assign all the small guys here, the green guys, to calcification here. Now we have the calcification segmented um, and we can quantify their volume, for example, their total volume here with this uh, menu en entry. And you see the total volume is this here and the brightness here in household units. And you can also get the um, number of components here, number of components, 7,000 something, quite a lot. And you can get, so that means like it's, it's 7,000 small guys here that are um, disconnected. And you can get more detailed information here using the component statistics. And you get a huge table here with uh, 7,000 rows sorted by size. The biggest one has this volume here. So it's one row per connected component of the input class here, the calcifications. And here you see a graph, it's like a histogram. So it's the volume uh, sorted over the, uh, the index of the component. And you can also use another tool, like you could make the small guys, make the class small, and um, classify them by size, for example, here with um, find components, find small components, everything under maybe five uh, cubic millimeters, assign them to another class. And then this way you can kind of categorize your calcifications. And uh, now I see here, there's also some stuff here. This is not calcifications, this is the feces here. So this is in the in the gut, some guys. So you might want to get rid of these. We call this feces and kind of pick those out here in 3D or use the the interact this tool here to get them a bit more efficiently like this because they are not uh, calcifications. It's more from the pieces. So maybe it's a good idea to use a special food which doesn't have um, I think it's bone chips in the in the mouse food. Okay, I hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.